the Techniques SLV5. It is a vertical standing turntable. I have a few records to demonstrate uh, the functionality of this uh, unit. So I'm going to start first with a 33 and a third. Before that, I'll show you briefly inside. There are two lights. Basically, they auto sense the size of the record. And then there's a speed selector. Both of them are set to auto so that when I put in the standard opaque record, it'll function as expected. So the first one, of course, is your basic long play record. Close her up. Three buttons that I use the most, of course, are start, stop, and queuing. Don't really ever use the repeat button, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and press start and let her rip. This unit came with the, um, when I bought it used, the original T4P Techniques 511S cartridge. Sounds just beautiful. Um, the only problem I had with it when I picked it up is that after a few days it, um, the tone arm would seem to labor as it moved. It wouldn't move as smooth as and the, uh, then eventually it just started to get stuck. So I got in there, disassembled, uh, basically just took off the front panel here and inside this mechanism right there there's a lot of old grease that had just basically dried up and once I cleaned all of that out and put on a new belt for the tone arm drive assembly the tone arm function just fine it moves beautifully now um, it's a direct drive so but before I said belt but belt is only to move the tone arm back and forth the uh, turntable itself is a direct drive not a heavy duty motor but it seems to function just fine anyway that's your basic LP show you a 45 and how the auto sensing operates so take that away put that down there we go I treat my records somewhat okay <clears throat> pull out that little adapter how easy that comes out and of course auto sensing still on press play and it'll queue up to the point as expected there she goes moves beautifully Last but not least, I will show you a translucent vinyl LP. So I'm just going to put that down. I will close up this adapter. And they don't exactly... There we go. And because it's translucent, the LEDs can see right through it, so automatically the turntable thinks there's no LP there. As advised by the instruction manual, if that's the case, basically manually select the size of your LP. Not everybody has a lot of translucent LPs, but some people do. Um, as a collector, I have some myself. This one being, of course, my favorite, the Elvis Golden Records Volume 1. We'll just set that to 30. Leave the speed as 33, of course, because it's still at 33. And press start. And away it goes. As I said before, the uh, you can do your own cueing, pick your own song. You'll notice that the tone arm moves beautifully now. I'm just going to skip ahead pretty much close to the end of the record as I can get, just to demonstrate the. Um, once it's over and of course with these translucent records it's hard to tell exactly when the end of the record is so I kind of misjudged that one
that's actually the other side where the grooves are. There we go. Should be pretty much close to the end now. When I bought it from the old guy, um, he didn't have any cables with it, so I had to supply my own ground cable, my own power cable, and my own RCA cables, which are easy to come up with. But once I got it and got in there, cleaned out the old grease, replaced the uh, belt uh, for the torn arm, and she's functioning like new. So there it goes. And it'll return, park itself, and basically stop spinning. So that is the Techniques SLV5. If you ever see one, I highly suggest grabbing it because it is a cool little turntable.